Well, this was a chance with a holiday to sleep in for a lot of people today, and others were up early lacing up their running shoes. The annual Boys Town Memorial Day run in Colin Ruane uh, shows us runners who believe this event is more than just a day off of work. Cheers of support along the course as thousands pound the pavement at Boys Town. Everyone has their reason to be here. You no, know, we kind of always like to run. We like to stay active, so we just thought, you know, why not do it? We're here because I have a grandson who has a hearing loss, and so we wanted to participate in the run and support Boys Town. From a 400 meter race for the kids to a five mile course, everyone is getting their workout in. All right. And even those who didn't race are excited to be here. Well, I'm from Lincoln, so I got up at about 530 this morning, but it was definitely worth it. Today's run brought runners from all speeds from around the metro today. Many of them able to finish this five mile course in less than 30 minutes. It was tough, a little warm, and this course is always hilly, so, but it felt good. We caught up with Seth Hirsch right after he crossed the finish line. The Millard West runner tells us even though he didn't set a personal record, he wasn't too upset with his winning time. Uh, this is about 10 seconds off, I think, so I was pretty close. I ran about 40 seconds faster than last year, though, so that's good. While many took part to get a good workout in, the race was about a whole lot more than that to Gene Peters. Very invigorating, lots of love and lots of fun for the kids. Many, many things for the children to do and for us grown-ups, too. My heart's just full. It's, it's wonderful to see all this kind of support and love. Support and love that really makes a difference. In Omaha with photographer Dustin Dales, Colin Ruane, WOWT 6 News. Yeah, Boys Town held the event today to help benefit programs at the hospital for kids who are deaf or hard of hearing.